Ready to go? No. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is that how that works? Food force is getting out of control. Here's the white one. Good job. Yes, yeah, lizard? Can you get him? Oh, there he goes. I think you're standing on some baby papaya trees. All right, back at the farm. So normally, or the last couple of times I've picked up this stillage, um, I've basically just been putting it on my wood chip pile. I have a huge pile here. As you can see, I call it my mulch mountain range. Um, every time I use a bunch of it, the next time I come back to the farm, they've dumped off three more loads. So it's like it never, it never stops. What I normally do is uh, I park the truck a little closer to the mulch pile. There's a little, uh, there's a little hose that I hook up to the valve and basically I empty the hose either directly over or actually into buckets. And then I put buckets of the, like five gallons at a time up on top of the wood mulch. And, I'm, and it's pretty, pretty uh, unscientific. It's pretty, you know, pretty, pretty rudimentary. Um, and all I'm trying to do is add to the wood chips. The wood chips are already great. Um, they're already doing a lot for me. They're holding the moisture and they're, it's, you know, it's organic matter. It's going to break down over time. Um, I think adding the stillage, I'm adding a high mineral solution to it. I'm adding some sugars. I'm adding some, some yeast and microbes that are already, um, inherent in the, in the material because they add yeast to, to, uh, ferment the molasses in the first place. Um, one thing I'll, I've noticed when I open that tank up and start spreading it, I get black soldier flies almost immediately. Um, so there it's attracting something. It's attracting different flies. It's attracting different, um, different insects that are going to help, um, break this material down. Uh, and you can look at it a couple different ways here in Florida, South Florida in particular, and in the tropics, organic matter breaks down quick. So if you're trying to build up your organic matter for a mulch, for a protective layer, maybe this isn't for you because it's going to, I think it's going to break down faster. Um, in my case, I have an endless supply of this, so I'm going to just burn through it. I want to turn it over. I want to speed up my succession. So for me, I want to break this down fast. I want to make it high quality organic matter compost um, that I can use out here in my beds and I'm not sure yet, but maybe, maybe start offering it as a product um, for people that want it for maybe for clients in the future, consulting clients and, you know, local gardeners. There is a lot of literature and information out there about using molasses um, in farming and in composting. Um, there's also a lot of information about using um, cane sugar, um, specifically natural farming, Korean natural farming. Um, methods they use cane sugar um, so I know that this this stillage is a is of some benefit and, and how to use it hasn't really been specified as a matter of fact if you're out there and you're watching this and you know something or it can link me to a video or a study that'll that'll help me with this please do I would I would absolutely appreciate that um, I've got a couple of things that I've been working on and I'll show you here in just a second so this is kind of my experiment station. Um, I've got a couple things going on here. Um, for one, I do make my own biochar. Um, I've made a video about it before. Check it out. Here's a whole bunch of it. Um, and in this, this uh, container here is biochar that I've made. and I've actually been soaking it in uh, the stillage and also urine and stuff like that. If you look down in there, these are black soldier fly larvae right here. Those right there. That is like premium chicken food or fish food if you're doing aquaponics or if you, you know if you have have chickens. I don't actually have any, but this this has been inoculated for quite some time. 
um, probably at least a month. And this is fully charged. It has kind of a funky smell at this point, but uh, I'm going to mix it, um, you know, dilute it with, with uh, other wood mulch or with compost when I use it. I'm not going to use it straight up. And I'll probably go through the effort of crushing this up a little bit better. Um, sometimes when I make this, I'll crush it. Sometimes I just don't have time, so I end up with just big chunks. In this container, I'm just storing the stillage. So this is old stillage. And you can see it's got a, it's doing like its own anaerobic ferment in here. It's got a little layer on top of funky goodness. If you, if you look into uh, what's called Jadam, J-A-D-A-M, it's a natural farming book written by Master Cho's son, I think it is. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Um, pretty interesting stuff. He does a lot of anaerobic fermentation. So this is an experiment with that. I'm just letting it go to see what it, see what it turns into. I, I'm just curious. So this is just full of stillage that's just sitting there. One of the things that I've discussed with some other people is using it um, in a biodigester to make biogas, basically to harvest methane. And then you still have a product out the back end that you can use in the soil. This one, is another type of biochar. This is actually biochar that I purchased. And you can see it's actually bubbling as we speak. Let me see if I can get up in there. This is in the process of bubbling, um, fermenting away. This, this um, container smelled awful when I, when I first started doing this. And right now it actually doesn't smell bad at all. It doesn't really bother me. I'm, I'm imagining if I stir it up, it'll probably stink. But if you notice on the surface, there's black soldier fly larvae all over the top. Once again, I imagine they're breeding in there and they're probably dying in there. So I'm probably getting some rotten soldier fly larvae in there. But uh, I'm gonna be using this, or I have been using this around bananas, um, the biochar inoculated with the stillage and the urine. So this is basically the same thing as this, except this doesn't have as much in there and it's not broken down. This is a nice powdered form that, uh, that I got from a buddy of mine. We'll be doing a couple little experiments and I'll, I'll keep, the, keep you updated on those as we go. But um, I think there's a lot of potential for using this stillage in agriculture. I'm sure it's being done. I would love to know more. So if you, like I said, if you have something, let me know.